Have you heard about the migrant brain? Let's start off with a definition from leading researcher, Dr. Peter Goldsby from King's College London, who says that migrant is an instability our brain deals with incoming stimuli. What does it mean? First of all, let's look at our brain. Our brain works hard every day to filter out stimuli. There's light, there are sounds, there's sensory stimuli that we get every day from the world around us and the world within us. And usually that works pretty well. But if you live with migraine, and that's why we call it the migraine brain, this filter system is slightly weaker. So our brain, as Dr. Peter Gosby says, is kind of unstable in how it deals with stimuli. So we see that there are external stimuli, stimuli such as light or sound, that during a migraine attack, but even outside of a migraine attack, can be very strong for us, stronger than for our friends, our families, people around us. The same happens for internal stimuli. Those could be signals our body sends to us, signals that usually make our body respond with pain, Signals, for example, such as stress, anxiety. And the thing is, while we often deal with external stimuli, sunlight, by, for example, wearing glasses when it's very sunny outside, we often don't have a toolkit for internal stimuli. But this should be a strong part of our migraine toolkit to deal with what we call the migraine brain, to deal with our brain not being that good at filtering stimuli. And that's why we are building a toolkit of coping strategies, emotional coping strategies, things that help us to deal with stress, to deal with anxiety, to just deal with emotional challenges, social challenges even, that we experience every day, because those two are just stimuli. And those two we can learn to manage. Several studies have looked into coping mechanisms that deal with emotional stimuli because it's important how we react to incoming stimuli, be, the, be it external stimuli or be it stimuli from within us. And to manage, for example, stress, anxiety, depression, negative thoughts, unhelpful thoughts, there are techniques such as meditation and breathing that many of you may have heard of. But there are many more. Depending on what you feel like, what works for you, there are things that include more movement, such as yoga. There are things that include more imagination, such as guided imagery, stories that help you to relax, that help you to respond to a challenging situation during your day. So what can we conclude? Yes, the migrant brain can be a challenge because we experience stimuli more intensely, which, for example, for sunlight can really be a challenge and you prefer to be in a dark room. On the other hand, let's see it from a more happy, a happier perspective. When we experience our emotions more strongly, yes, it can be the challenging ones, but also it can be the positive ones. We can dive into those more deeply than maybe others could. So the next time when you face a challenge, you can use coping strategies to deal with more unhelpful thoughts, more unhelpful emotions. And on the other hand, you can dive into your mind and see what was the last time when I experienced a happy moment a positive moment in a very intense way.